Uh, you know who it is, man. It's your boy D5 Shooter, and I'm checking in for the gang. And gang, I got an unboxing slash setup that you don't want to miss. We are protecting our bags with the Arculus key card. Let's go. Hey, check it, man. I got it. Got it today. I got it today. I got my Arculus, man. Have you heard of Arculus? It's the key card, man. It's a key next gen crypto wallet, cold store. Listen, with FTX, uh, Voyager, and Celsius all belly up, and I'm just here in Gemini. I got some issues too. If you're not securing your bag, you're doing yourself a disjustice and you're donating money to the scumbags that's out here scamming folks and pulling a rug from underneath our feet. This is important. I hope more YouTubers, influencers on different social platforms start talking about crypto protection and importance of having hot wallets and cold wallets. But I can't depend on them. But if you're watching me, I'm going to be talking about it. And I just invest in a Arculus next-gen crypto wallet. This one is very unique. It has three-factor authentication. You don't believe me? You know what? Let me pull it up, man. Let me pull it up so you can read it for yourself. Pause the video and you need to read what's going on. But it has three-factor authentication, cold storage, crypto NFT wallet to keep your private keys accessible to you and only you. Remember, not your keys, not your crypto, right? In this case, this is your keys. This is your crypto, right? So they're fairly new on the scene. I know you guys are used to the war leading ledger, which I own several. And you know I talk about them a lot. Trezor as well, too, is another cold storage device that requires two, two uh, factor authentication. This is the first crypt, uh, first cold cold wallet that requires three factor authentication. What does that mean? Well, let's look at it. Tap into the next gen uh, security. Let's look into it. So you have your layer one and I'm gonna scroll down here. Uh, where's it at, where's it at? Where's it at? So your layer one will be actually your bio. So it would be your thumb, right? I'm trying to find it on here because they have a nice breakdown of it. So anyways, it's your, it's your thumb. And then you have a password, and then you have the actual metal card that protect that own that your keys will actually sit on that you only have access. It works off of NFC. So the good thing about NFC is that you really have to be close to somebody to even get that information. Kind of like how your debit and credit card is. Somebody has to have the NFC and they gotta be close up on you to get those private keys. Um let me see. But anyways, we're gonna set this up on here this is my first time getting it we're going to do a live we're going to set it up i'm going to kind of review the packaging of it and just kind of give you my first initial thoughts and then i'll do it you want it maybe a week or two after i get it fully set up and yeah just give you my honest thoughts so this video might be a little bit painful as i'm sitting here opening through stuff this is my first time this package is new i've never used this device before so bear with me and let's get it let's go ahead and open up I need to get one of them unpackaging knives, man. If you got a good unpackaging knife, I see all them cool YouTubers in the tech world. They be using the unpackaging knives and stuff like that. Let me know in the comments, man. I need to get, because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. You did. As if you guys requested, I'll definitely go out here and go spend my money and go get in until we can get some uh, sponsorship. So if Arkley, if you seeing this, I'm going to tag y'all. Can I go ahead and, can I, hold on. Can I go? Can I go ahead and get a, a, some type of partnership? You did. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I would sit on that picture too, on me. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm big on packaging. Like, I'm huge on packaging. My wife tells me I need to get rid of some of the boxes. But if it's good packaging, packaging man, I'm here for it. So we got this little rip down, right, to get up in there. Okay. Okay. We got a little pull tab action. Got the pull tab. You know what I'm saying? We got the little Arculus. Arculus is actually a Greek. Uh, I don't know if it's a Greek god, but I know it has something to do with like some Greek stuff. Look it up, man. Maybe it's the god of safeguard. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to pull this tab out. Oh. Okay. Let me do that again. You got this tab right here, right? And you just pull that thing. Pull it. Pull it. Oh, and there's your card. Okay, that was fresh. Let me do it one more time. 
Slow mo, but not really. Okay, so there's my car. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Hey, man. You get an A plus on packaging already, my boy. I'm digging that. So you get this little thank you card right here. It has also like card placement, how close you need to have that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for choosing Arculus Key Card for all your crypto storing, buying, sending, swapping, receiving needs. We are thrilled that you are part of the Arculus customer community. Okay, I like it. They got their social sites, Facebook, Twitter, um, IG. Now, you do go out here and go get this, and you are military. They do have a military discount of 25%. Just putting that out there. Again, make sure you look over some more reviews on the internet, see what people think, or you just run out there and just take my word for it. But if you are in the military, you do get 25% off. Um, you'll see it, see it on their site. Me and my buddy took advantage of that. So as I fully open this all the way up, you got a get started card here. Okay, so you got the get started card with the QRC. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And you got my recovery sheet. So this is where you put your recovery password if you ever use a cold cold wallet or even a hot wallet then you know why does not grab it maybe because it's too dark all right 12 phrases code right here so if you ever dealt with hot wallets cold wallets you always got some type of seed phrase that you got to store safely and nine times out of ten those applications don't allow you to screenshot anything you have to write them down and keep them safe very important you might want to make a couple of copies of these put one in a uh in the uh when you're safe or whatever the case may be, give it to your spouse. If you don't have to give it to your spouse. Just put it out there. Do what you want. Come with a little sticker. Okay. Come with a little Oculus sticker. I don't know where I'm going to put that because I don't put things. I don't put stickers on things. And then we have the card. Oh, this card is heavy. Heavy in the paint. Here's my Oculus card right here. I like the color. I like the... I'm usually a black card type of person. I'm here for the silver. I'm here that this is weighted. It feels like American Express uh, Platinum cards. It's heavy. That was not a flex. I'm just letting you know. A comparison. It feels like the Crypto.com when you get the red or black card as well, too. Then you got your little NFC scanner in the back. It's probably not going to pull up because I'm in the studio and it's a little dark in here. So I'm trying to see if anything else up in here. There is nothing else. Well, nothing else in the box. So, okay. So we got everything we need. There's no disrespect to Oculus. I just get the box out of here. So I got my recovery sheet. I got my pen on hot standby. Um, my pen on hand standby for my recovery card. So what you want to do is scan this code. All right. All right. So let's scan this code. I got my phone here. Go ahead and scan this code. Tap the scan. Boom. Opens up. And I like this because this takes you to the official place to download the app. Be very cautious when you go to your to your representative uh, uh, it's Google store or Apple store because a lot of fakes out there. A lot of fakes. So when I scan it, it says download your Oculus app. So you pick which store. I have an Android. I'm an Android user. So I'm going ahead and get on Android. I feel confident that I'm going to go and get the correct, the correct uh, wallet. I do install. It's doing this thing right now. It's installing. As you can see. Verified by Play Protection. Boom, in there. Then I open that up. All right. So it says get started. Get started. It has a term and conditions. I have read and accepted. Yeah, daddy yaddy. Hold, tap and hold the back of your card to the back of your device. So I need to hold this straight up like this. But I also heard on YouTube that some of these cases be too thick. So I'm going to take my case off so we don't got no issues. Okay. So let me take my case off. And and let's do this. So I'm holding and I tap, boom. Now it says, check that out. Create a new wallet, restore a wallet. Well, this is my first time, so obviously I'm gonna create a new wallet. 
So I create a passcode. They want two, four, six, two, four, six digits. No problem. You put it in once, confirm it for the second time. Boom. Now I tap and hold. Now it's creating a wallet. Show y'all that real quick. So you put your put your code in. Card reading. So I did see that this sometimes be an issue. So I just did it again. Let's see if it goes through. Please try again. I'm not gonna hold y'all if this keep on happening. I'm gonna keep on doing it until it works. You're getting this in real life. There we go. Let's see if we can get it to go through. We have some trouble here, Oculus. I have a little trouble here. Ooh, car reading error. Please try again. I don't know how many times I've done it already. Ooh. Still doing it. Let me wipe it off. We having problems here, Oculus. I'm gonna need some customer service. That is a that that is if this doesn't work like this, how the heck can I trust you to get my crypto? Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm not holding it. It says tap and hold in the back of your card on the back of your device. I am tapping it and I'm not holding it. So it could be me. It could be user error. Let me hold it this time. It's spinning a little bit longer, so it was definitely user error. I take back everything that I said, Oculus. I am sorry. It was totally on me, y'all. I tapped, removed it. I should have tapped and held it like the word said. I was a little excited, man. Sorry, guys. I'm going to write down this, this code real quick. Let me show you. It's like, get out of here. Get out of here, clowns. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love y'all. So let me write down my secret phase real quick. Give me one second. Let me take my glasses off so you're not looking through. I'm trying to get my my code and nothing like that. Let me get that real quick. This is real time, y'all. This is my first time using it. I'm not going to edit this video. You're going to get the real uncut raw of this setup. Even with my user mistakes. Jeez, I spill so slow. Uh, you can laugh at me. Call me names in the comments. Perfectly fine. I'm cool with it. I'm here for it. Um, I guess I could have paused this and wrote this down, but one take Jake, baby. One take Jake. Let me know if y'all using what cold wallet y'all using in the chat. Definitely like to know what y'all using. Are you ledgers? Are you ledger game? Um, or whatever you're using. Let me know. Let me know. Have you heard of Oculus? Let me know that too. So I got the 12 codes written down. I'm going to, I wrote it down and it's asking for it in order, I guess. And I'm going to go ahead and do it in order. And like I said, they gave you one card. I suggest that you write it somewhere as well too. Like if you have like a journal with all your P codes on it, um, maybe that might be something you want to add. Make sure it's in a safe, secure place as well. Because this code is very important. Confirm. Boom, you're all set up. Gucci. You're all set up. So my wallet is set up. Dang, that thing. Hey, my camera, man. If you, hey, what kind of camera y'all using for y'all setup, man? I got affiliate linking for this Sony that I got, and it's crispy. Go ahead and check that out. Go to the home screen. All right, we litty. So we're in there, y'all. We're in there. Here's my wallet. We lit. There's my wallet. Bail balance, obviously, is nothing. But it's pretty cool. They show actual uh, asset pricing. Or whatnot, and it looks like I can add currency here. So if I click this add currency, it gives me a list of cryptocurrency. So I'm a big fan of Alvi, Amp, Ape. You already know. And I'm gonna figure out what assets I'm actually gonna put on here. But I'm just going off of what I like off the top. They got Crow, they got Engine Coin, ETH, obviously, FTT, <laughs> not buying it, uh, Gala. They got the graph, um, chain link, and they got some bangers on here. Polygon, Maker, um, Quant, 
Sandbox, definitely that. Sheep, all my Shibas out there. They got True Stable, T True USD, Uniswap, USDC, USDP, and USDT, and XRP, YFI, and Bit, uh, Rap Bitcoin. So they got a decent amount. They don't have as more. They don't have as many as the Ledger. Ledger has over five thousand five hundred currencies, but this is a new platform. If you go on their Twitter. They have about 5,000 followers. They're pretty much new. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to try them out is that, A, their marketing is great because I was seeing these guys on my freaking um, IG a lot. And a buddy of mine who I served with in the military was like, hey, man, have you ever heard of them? And I was like, dude, I just seen their freaking ad on IG. This is a sign if my boy who's heavily involved in the crypto, we both agree like, hey, we get a 25% off for military. Let's go ahead and try it out and see if we like it, man. You know, the more cold wallets, the more security is it's not a bad investment, only if it doesn't work. So my plan is I'm probably just going to move a small amount of probably like USDC, which is a stable coin. I'm probably just move like a small amount of USDC. I don't know if I'm going to move any other cryptos on here. If it do, it'll be a small amount. And the reason why I'm doing that is that they're fairly new. Um, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'm saying I don't trust them in a sense that I want to start slow, right? This is new to me. I'm used to using Ledger. I understand what Ledger is all about. I'm not saying that this is a bad company, but I want to go into this kind of slow because at the end of the day, it's my hard earned money. And again, I'm going a, I'm to a tag them in this. If they feel some type of way we can talk about it offline. But at the end of the day, it's your hard earned money. You have to be cautious because you have these centralized exchanges selling us pipe dreams and their roadmap and white paper saying they're going to do this, this, and this. And at the end of the day, we found out they're dishonest, right? We're talking about FTX, they're dishonest people. Technology-wise, it's dope. Um, so I picked pick what I want to put on here, hit apply. And as you can see, whoops, my list has grown, right? Into what I want to transfer over. You also have the NFTs. If I click on NFTs and go to it, Ethereum gallery. I'm sure if I had any Ethereum type stuff, I can go ahead and hit receive, get the code, and then bring those NFTs over. Look like they're just uh, Ethereum type NFTs, which is perfectly fine. Some of the coins on here, I'm going to open up Polygon Matic. You know, I'm a big fan of Polygon Matic, receive and send. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do that. Maybe I might do that right now. Let me send over. I'm going to do some Matic. I'm going to take some Matic. Wait, let me see what I got in my. Hmm. Where do I got some crypto at? Because I hardly keep any crypto anywhere. So. And I don't want to plug up my ledger. So let me send. Let me see if it has algo on here. I don't recall if they did have algo or not. I don't see it. They have. They have AMP. So what I'll do, I'm going to buy some AMP off of Coinbase. So go home. Speaking of Coinbase, I have a link pinned in the comments. If you are looking to get $10 worth of Bitcoin, click the link. We both get $10 if you signed up and deposit $100 in trade or sell crypto. Over $100, we both get $10 worth of Bitcoin. Click the link. It's also going to be in the link in the description as well, too. So I'm going to buy some AMP since that's one of the assets that I can bring over, I'm going to buy about, let's just say 10 bucks worth of amp, right? That should be enough. How much is that? That's about 2000 tokens, about 2,500 tokens. You can see here, I'm purchasing an amp on Coinbase. If it, see, buying some amp, about $10 worth. Go ahead and buy that now. You can charge 99 cent fee. Anybody thought about joining Coinbase One? It's like a subscription base that you pay each month where you don't get charged Coinbase fees. Um, I'm probably going to be joining that and I'm going to do about a month and let you guys know if it's worth it or not. So I have the, I just bought the amp. You see here, bought the amp, right? Now I'm going to wait and see if it loads up into my wallet, add into my assets, and it did. So I'm going to go back to the. Oculus app, I'm going to select AMP, I'm going to click receive, and therefore I got my code here, address copied to clipboard, 
Got that here right. Then I'm gonna go back to Coinbase. I'm gonna forward that, paste the car bar, continue, and I'm gonna do max, small amount. Usually I do like a super small, like the bare minimum, but it's a small amount. Now, it says it's gonna charge me about $2 just to move the amp. Amp is expensive to move. And it's going to be less than 10 minutes now i'm not going to sit there and hold you guys for 10 minutes on here but we're going to send the assets i'm gonna do my whole verification thing right now the 2fa on coinbase got the text message boom boom bing ping and see if it goes see if it goes it's thinking it's thinking they like what's this new wallet you sent it to boom successfully and i got hit for two dollars and not man they take darn near a thousand of my amp just to send it i don't know if that i don't know if that's because this because of the, the wallet because i don't i don't i don't get charged that much when i send it to ledger so whatever it's all good this is a small test right all right so let me move i'm gonna open up this arculus and it said less than 10 minutes so to open up the arculus app you need this right so tap and hold boom that's dope <laughs> that is dope now i wonder if i can set this up for my biro so let me go ahead and look in here i'm enable 3fa that's the first option up here i'm enable 3fa so that's going to require oh and you got dark mode and switch between dark mode you can change your currency as well too you can restore and get a new card let's say you use your card you keep your same phrase but if you get a new card let's say you lose it and buy a new card then you can do a restore here i already have my pin code set up and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this app out. I'm going to come back in it. So I'm going to need this bad boy. And now my thumbprint. So we got the passcode, we got the thumbprint, and we got the card. So that's 3FA. So I'm going to do my thumb. And we in there. So I don't need my card now. I don't need my card. I have my thumbprint. Now I can do buy and swap. Well, now what coins can I buy on here? So, so far, the only assets that you can buy is Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Kronos, Engine Coin, Ethereum. And I'm pretty sure as they get more established as far as assets go, you'll be able to buy more, more assets here. So, let me see. How can I do so? So, I can do amount, say $100, right? Done. If I buy... Okay, so let's say if I wanted to buy $100 with USD fiat for Bitcoin, it's going to get me, right? Your swap would include a $10.45 $10 transaction fee as well as all other networks and exchange fee. That's a big, big fee. Now, I'm assuming these fees are the way they are because they're a new company. And they have to pay themselves for the technology and pay their people and et cetera, et cetera. That's a big fee. Uh, let's see. Let's see how we can. So they use Simplex for the order. Um, let me show you real quick. Let's see if it pop up. This is a bright screen. Simplex to order. Uh, it's washed out because the screen's white, but just trust me. There you go. See? And so not only being charged hundred dollars plus the 10. So I don't have an account with Simplex. I'm not going to buy a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. I just wanted to kind of see. I wonder if it's the same with Ethereum. Let me put in a thousand dollar worth of ETH. I put in a thousand dollars worth of ETH. That's going to get me 0.7. The swap includes a $39.80 transaction fee as well. So the fees on here are extremely high. So that makes sense with me sending over amp i guess that's one of the things that's going to allow them to get paid for their services hopefully that comes down because that's extremely high 
um, in my personal opinion. Definitely want to. I don't want to say I want an explanation on why, but I'm curious on why the fees are so high. Maybe we'll get that. Maybe I'll slide in their Discord and ask the question. So, and oh, and look, guys, less than 10 minutes. Check this out. Received. I received my amp. So it was like six bucks. I bought $10 worth of amp on Coinbase. I got hit with like $2 and, or maybe $3 worth of fees or whatever the case may be. That $10 worth of amp on Coinbase, I bought about $2,400. Amp tokens. I got 1,644 amp that was sent over and at 2:31 Pacific Standard Time. So it took three minutes. It's 2:34 Pacific Standard Time, uh, November 16th. So let me go check my wallet. Let's see, that's the case. My crypto is sitting right there, six dollars and seven cent, and it shows that I got a balance of amp as well. So I have digital ass digital assets over here. It's pretty cool. Tap it. You can kind of see receive and send you see the history etc now if i was to send this i'm pretty sure i'm going to get hit across the head so i'm just going to leave it there because i'm probably going to send it and lose another thousand <laughs> tokens of amp and i don't want to just lose a thousand tokens of amp because i'm actually a, a believer of amp so having 1600 is pretty cool so yeah okay okay I didn't think I was going to get this far in here and actually send some, but you saw me, saw the unboxing, you saw the authentication process, the setup process, you saw me buy crypto from Coinbase and transfer over to the Oculus wallet, you saw what the fees are, you saw that I can also buy a small select few of cryptocurrency, most importantly, ETH and Bitcoin, you can buy directly off there, but the fees are extremely high. I'm curious on what the fees are if I was to transfer ETH to Bitcoin. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest, I don't plan on holding ETH or Bitcoin on this device um, just yet. I am pretty cool with having my ETH and Bitcoin sitting on different hot or cold wallets at this moment, but I do have a game plan of what I'm going to keep on here and I'll talk more about it. So give me about a week to kind of set up my portfolio and what I want to move over here and kind of have sit. It's definitely going to be a small amounts of uh, different currencies, but I'm going to provide you, you know, my honest to God feedback on it. But yeah, that's the Oculus, man. I'm excited to get it. Uh, and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to share it with you guys. And if you was rocking with this whole review and setup or not even review this unboxing and setup and actually buying crypto and moving crypto, give me a thumbs up, man. And, and let me know do you want a part two with a full on review. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do it regardless, regardless of what you say in the chat. I'm going to make the review. Anyways, it's your boy D5 Shoulder. And remember, protect your bag cold wallet hot wallets go watch the video up here go watch the video right here i broke down different cold wallets and hot wallets that you need to have in your arsenal and your tool belt anyways i ain't gonna hold y'all go watch the video peace